Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2002. And in this episode of our season as Dale Jr. and his number 8 Budweiser Chevrolet, we're going to be completing the 15th race of this 31 race season, which is going to take place at the Sears Point Raceway, which is now known as Sonoma Raceway. And I don't know how to feel going into this one, because I think the AI are better at road course and short track racing than they were in, in Dirt to Daytona, even though this game came before that one. But anyhow, last episode, we raced at Michigan for the first time this season, got a second place finish. Dale Jarrett got his second win of the season, and we finished a couple spots ahead of Bobby Labonte. But he led laps, and we didn't, so we only gained five points on him in that race. Now we're 102 points behind him. This is going to take a while if it's going to happen at all. And he's, I don't know if he's going to change how he runs for this race. I don't know if road courses do anything for him. I think they still run the same no matter what. But yeah, here's the rest of the points when we look at that. Dale Jarrett getting that win. Holds himself in fourth place. I wonder if John Andretti's ever going to fall anywhere. Because he, he just always runs good. I was not expecting this. I don't know how I, I didn't know this about this game in, until just now. Uh, we also have... Daytona again this week. So stay out for look for that. And we don't have Scooby Doo anymore because I've finished that shit. I need to remove the memory card. I'll go ahead and do that while we load up this qualifying shit. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. What is that? I don't know. I just broke through it. Okay. Here are your qualifying results for the first time with a road course. Kevin Harvick. Mike Wallace, Elliot Sadler, they all still suck. Terry Labonte still sucks. Anything different? Anything. Well, Jeff Gordon's starting on the pole. Mark Martin's on the outside of him. It's not that often that Bobby Labonte doesn't get a pole or even start on the front row. Ricky Rudd can always start well, but not finish well. And there's John Andretti in there, Dale Jarrett, Ward Burton. Okay, so this is a, a little sensible for a road course but i mean we we should see tony stewart up there and i would say maybe steve park but he, for some reason he's not even racing in, in this season i have to remind you that for some reason steve park is not racing here because we had to have mike wallace i don't know yeah that no no memory card continue without saving i am not going to save the game until i know i have footage to edit with and upload for you guys I did not look at the race info before I clicked to start the race, so I don't know how many laps we're going. Um, 11 laps? Okay, I mean, that's not too long for a Sonoma race, I suppose. I mean, it's 10%. I mean, it's a long track. I don't know if this is faster or, or, or not than, like, the version that came after this. This is 2001, so it's got, like, this, this sweeping curve that I think would shorten the track. Ugh. The, the curbs are supposed to help you, give you grip and shit. But, like, I have to slow down to, to ride them. Oh, I, I turn the car, I get sideways. Okay, this will be our best point on the track to make the positions is right here. Oof. Come on. Get it. Get it. Okay, we made him check up on the gas. Go, 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 go. We're up to 16th. The first half of the track. Things are going to spread out, and it's going to get really difficult to make up positions. So that's why this is important to do this now. Um... Oh my god, Tony Stewart just fucking driving to the dirt. He's rally racing. I was going to say, at a road course, you really need the car to turn and slow down. And you, in this kind of damn game, you can't do anything at the same time. You can't turn and get on the gas. You can't uh, turn and get off the gas. or hit the, like You can't do anything. You have to do everything one at a time. Like, I have to get on the gas. Then I'll start turning. One at a time. Um... And then nothing will work anymore in the car once you, like, just bump into somebody hard enough. Because it's, like, the tires or the wheels, whatever, that you, you need to keep intact. I think, you know, like, your aerodynamic damage would be the the front spoiler. Even I don't know why it's called that. You call it, like, the front splitter or the the front bumper. I don't know. They call it something, but they call it the, the front spoiler. And I am trying pass 
Terry Labonte, my car just literally can't. I am dragging it up against the wall. There is no room, but this is where we got to make our passes. Go, clear him on the gas. Okay, he's gonna. Whoa, where are you going? Whoa, whoa, where are you? Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? I, I'll, just, I have to use up the guys around me. I am gonna get this. I thought I was get the position back. I am full of shit. I will not get the position back. How are we doing on damage? Got some front don't point their damage. <laughs> Got the front spoiler damage. Yeah, that's that's aerodynamic that's body damage. I don't know what that'll do for us. But I know the wheels are like the most important thing here in road course. Okay, pass them on the outside, and I am trying out to wreck four. I got more front spoiler damage, even though he hit me in the rear. This game doesn't know what anything is. But it's fine. As long as I'm not smashing into somebody, like, really fucking hard, and the car will continue to steer good, and that's that's what I need. Oh, my God, dude. Slow down big time right here. I mean, I'm on the gas, but, like, I'm worried about spinning the car sideways trying to, to steer off the corner and crap. I can't do anything at the same time. It's just that kind of game. Please get off of me. Okay, the car turns good right here, so there's still that. Okay. I need to not drag it up against the wall and, and stuff making up positions right here. And I need to not rear end him in the tight corners. That's where it's most likely to happen. Got the curbs. I would use them to help the car turn, but they don't do anything. They just kind of vary between Knocking the car sideways, bouncing it, upsetting it. They don't do the one thing they're supposed to. They just do something random every time, and you have to hope that it's the right thing. Like, I think that time it did what it was supposed to do. But we're coming to the end of the third lap. Still no wheel damage. And we're passing Kurt Busch. Uh, on the gas. Oh, okay, I got on the gas pretty early right there. Didn't even spun out sideways. I timed it just right. We have an extra spot right there. I actually don't want to know what position I'm in at all during this race. Not until like the very end, because that is very distracting. It can put a lot of pressure on me. I just want to run the best race I can. And I think the cars I'm racing around are probably really, really telling of how good my race is. I mean, Bobby Labonte's up there. I see him right now, his green car. Passing Jeff Burton. There's Ward Burton, Rusty Wallace. So I mean, we're around some good fellas. Stupid bouncy car with 50 PSI, I guess. I don't fucking know. Dumb shit. We're gonna pass some cars in this corner up here, though. Like we always do. Here we come, here we come. Stupid Jeff Burton, don't block me. I mean, he's gotta take the corner from the inside, but. Stop it! Here we come. Throw that curb nicely. That's what I'm talking about. You don't know what the fucking curb's gonna do. Oh my god. These barriers are not even supposed to be here. Like, they're made of damn cinder blocks. They're not actual tires. It's like they got some cinder blocks and they painted them to look like tires and to make you feel safe and then kill you. And they were like, oh, it's okay, I'll just hit the tires. <laughs> this is just like freaking NASCAR 21 Ignition. We never actually have tires that are soft to protect us if we miss a corner. I'm trying not to start passing Ward Burton right here because it ain't going to turn out good. You get somebody beside you off that final corner, they start dumping you one way or another. Um, Where did I get the wheel damage? At what point did I get that? I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm trying to, you know, pay attention to the track. Okay, we're about to set up a pass on Ward Burton right here. Because I think it's slightly possible. Here we go. I see, it's sliding. Because I had to turn a little bit whenever I was getting on the gas. And you just can't do two things at the same freaking time. Damn, curb is lifting me up and... Oh, a little bit of tire damage. The car ain't turning right anymore. Okay, here we go again. Let's pass Ward Burton. There we go. There we go. I, I cleared him before he even got to the corner. Good shit. No, no, Rusty, hold on to it. I didn't mean to do that, Rusty Wallace. Almost said Rusty Wallace. I remember at one point I was playing NASCAR 06. I kept on doing that because I had discovered Rusty Wallace. Oh my god. No, leave me alone. Car being upset and you're not helping. I need to get rid of War Burden. I need him off my ass so I can focus on the car in front of me and driving the car. I can't pass a car and get passed by a car and handle my car. We can't do all this shit at the same time. Cleared him on the outside now. Oh, I get tight. Oh my god! Go, go! Ugh. This is body damage. I think we mostly had front spoiler damage. We picked up some body and wheel damage. Oh my god, we're going wide. We're on the sixth lap. I, I'm gonna pit at the end of this lap. That would be the smartest thing, I think. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't know what button to press, how to enter this corner right now from that angle. 
Typically I do, but you know. I don't know. We're just sitting back behind him. Try to keep this car in good condition just for a little while longer. The least amount of damage fixed possible in our pit stop. I mean, that's Bobby Lamani right up there. If I can gain some positions, get as close to him as possible. I want to gain points today. I'm assuming he hasn't led anything. Damn it. Skinner, go. Oh, and he had to check up to get himself all fixated, so that made it easier for us to get around him. Please get off my ass now. Please. <laughs> I hate whenever the car gets upset, just like the guy did before you passed him, and then he comes back and he's like, I'm getting you back for that one. That's whenever you get damaged. You know their car never stops driving the way it did prior. Oh my god, we had to send it off in the grass one more time. We head down pit road. What's the pit road speed limit? 35? Oh, 35! Okay, we're okay. We're okay. I'm gonna get four tires, uh, a full tank of fuel, and we're gonna repair the damage. I don't know when they're taking their stops, but I'm gonna pull off pit road, and I'm gonna be by myself to uh, make my best laps possible. Also can't fall a lap down. Not here. I can't fall a lap down here because it's a big track. Good shit. I mean, by the time I pulled into my pit stall, they finally had the last car pass me. I wonder if like someone that like spun and didn't throw a caution or something and they're just not be catching us. Uh, that's a lot of damage that we're fixing. But it's okay. It's, it's that kind of track that spreads out that's probably like just two or three positions lost. And I can gain them back on my speed. I don't have traffic to worry about. I can focus and run my best laps. I would put like the scenic cockpit cam and shit, you know, but I need to drive the best I possibly can. There are them coming already down to the final corner, but not a lap down. Good shit. You didn't fix the front spoiler damage. Go fuck yourselves. Okay, finally got some cars in pit road. A couple laps later. Oh man, look how many positions we're making up. We're getting back. I don't know. There's Kurt Busch. I think I already passed Kurt Busch earlier on. The car in fresh condition. Now they got fresher tires than me. And of course, there's one splitter damage already because I want to go, man. I want to pass you. I see Bobby Labonte up there. Got like three laps to go. I want to get to him. But I need you to fuck off, Kurt Busch. Okay, let's go. Turn in. Keep it good. Keep it good. On the brakes at the red barrel. We ain't got to worry about them. We take this corner way better. There's Rusty Wallace. I already passed him, but it looks like Bobby Lonnie lost bosses. I think he was higher up than that before we pit, right? And we're coming. I don't know where we're finishing, but it don't matter. I need Labani. I'm trying. Where am I going? Okay, on the brakes. The curb. The car slips off the track here and there whenever I'm just really focused goes to show I'm a lot better whenever I'm around traffic than I can get my marks a little bit better. Some places I'm not as fast because I'm more aggressive whenever I don't have to slow down for other cars. Get off the wall. I just damaged fucking wheels more. I just fucking turned Rusty Wallace. I only did that because I had a run. There was nothing to do with it. And that's going to be a caution, and I won't get to Bobby Labonte, won't I? Well, I mean, I I thought it would be a caution. I don't know how it's not. Freaking everything in this game is a caution. Oh, they got to the white flag. Well, it can't be a caution now. Oh, I really want to catch Bobby Labonte and then not do that to him. Okay, here we go. It's a big gap, but I think it was just as big as Rusty a while ago. We could pass him without doing that, okay? Oh, make the corner, make the corner this time. God damn, I can't drive as good without traffic. Uh, typically, I damage the car in traffic because there's the traffic, the cars. They damage my car. It's like I hit my marks, but oh my god. 
Please turn. I just, I can't do it anymore. And I'm going to suck in this fucking corner now. Man, you got to be kidding me. One more position. Turn, turn. On the gas, on the gas. They check up here a good bit. I can close the gap. I ain't going to pass them. But I'm going to close the gap. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm just trying not to damage the car, okay? I'm just trying not to damage the car! I wanted it! I fucking wanted it so bad! Fuck this game! Turn! 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 Come on! Mother fuck! I come off the goddamn corner and then it wants to turn to the left and kill me. Okay, where are we finishing? Seventh? Oh, I thought I was like tenth or something. <sighs> Fuck! Mark Martin wins. Jeff Gordon didn't keep it the lead. I how the hell am I gonna win this championship? Like it was right there. Car too hard to drive. Luckily, that position was not worth five points. It was worth four. Which, uh, in the end, yeah, we still lost points. But we're not as far back as we were before we did Michigan, which was 107. Instead, it's 106. whoop de frickin do uh, Mark Martin, I guess, led every lap in that race. He led the most, and he started up there. You know, Jeff Gordon didn't lead anything, even though he started on, on pole, right? Uh, Dale Jarrett, John Andretti. Ricky Rudd actually started where he finished or whatever, so a good run for him for once. You figure this would have more passing than other tracks, but no, he, he just didn't get past or whatever. Uh, no, Jeff Burton led something in there and then finished 11th, so he lost a few positions. I'm surprised I didn't really ruin Rusty Wallace's race. He still finished right behind me. Damn. I'm glad to know I didn't ruin his race. I just got a great runoff and and I had nowhere to go because he was zigzagging from me. I'm trying to go straight through the S's and he's actually taking the S's. Uh, he took the S's up the ass. Oh my god, Tony Stewart finished 23rd. G damn it, game. Ward Burton, what happened to Ward Burton? I didn't do anything to Ward Burton, did I? Not not again. I mean, last time I ruined his race was at California. This track is also in California. Oh, oh no. Damn, I got to 16th in the first lap, and then from then on out it was slow progress. Uh, I got up to 9th by the end of lap 5, and on lap 6 I took my pit stop, dropped to last, and... When we came off pit road, it looks like we only lost, like, um, three spots, maybe? Or maybe we had some more pit stops the next time around, and that's when I never got to ninth, because I don't think I passed that many cars after I came off, off pit road, and they were taking their pit stops. But we, we did pass a couple more cars once pit stops were done with, and that's how we got from ninth to seventh. Okay. Like I already said, 106 behind Bobby Labonte. I don't feel like doing the math between me and John and Dreddy, to be honest. Uh, but I will say... John Andretti is now only 15 points in front of Dale Jarrett. I mean, that could be just three positions in a race. Or, or two, you know, like leading laps or, or some shit like that. So I think we could see Dale Jarrett getting to third in a race or two. It's probably imminent because he's Dale freaking Jarrett. And John Andretti's not even supposed to be good in this game. Jeff Gordon, fifth. Mark Martin, second win of the season. Holding it down in sixth place in the sixth car. <laughs> and I always see the same drivers switching back and forth between sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. It's Mark Martin, Jeff Burton, Kurt Busch, Ward Burton. Ward Burton is only six points in front of Rusty Wallace. And I didn't do anything to Ward Burton's race, did I? I thought I did more to Rusty Wallace's at the very end. But no, somehow he's really close to Ward Burton right now. I don't freaking know. But I'll see you guys in a couple days for the Daytona 400. It should be Pepsi 400 or some shit. Or Firecracker 400, whatever they call this crap. I don't, what stopped them from calling it the Firecracker 400? <laughs> That's not a sponsor. That's a word. Just don't go to Daytona. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.